Hi everybody. Um, today I wanted to do a quick review on the Seraphine 3 in 1 Navy Maternity Parker. Um, I ordered it in two sizes, a size 8 and a 10. My pre-pregnancy stats are about 169 centimetres tall, 62 kilos starting weight, um, although I have put on a truckload of weight with this pregnancy. More than my, this is my fourth pregnancy. This is definitely my biggest pregnancy. I've had to buy all new maternity clothes specifically this time round. Um, most of those have been through Seraphine. And having said that, almost every single thing that I've ordered has been in a size eight or a small. So I did stick to my pre-pregnancy size and everything fits uh, pretty good, including this dress. This is Seraphine, this is a size small and the tights as well. Um, the only thing that I sized up in from Seraphine was underwear um, because even though I'm a size 8 in tops, dresses, uh, jeans, I can be a size 9 or 10 in pants if there's no stretch in them uh, and I am a pear shape um, and I do seem to carry big. I'm only 28 weeks um, and I do feel like I have a pretty big tummy already. So yeah, underwear is probably the only thing I sized up to a medium in. Everything else I've bought, leggings, uh, jumpers, everything else is size small or 8. Uh, with the Parker, I did order a size 8 and a 10. Uh, the reason for that is because I am carrying big. I wanted, I thought that maybe the 10 would give me a bit more room. And also because I specifically bought it for two camping trips that I, that I have coming up. And I wanted to make sure that there was extra room for a few extra layers underneath uh, the jacket. Um, so I'll give you a quick, here is the jacket. As you can see, it's got faux fur lining on the inside, not in the arms, but everywhere else. Yes, um, including the hood. Um, I have decided that I'm gonna keep the 10, although the eight fits me. Uh, for the reasons I've already mentioned, I'm gonna go with the 10. I think for everybody else, your normal pre-pregnancy um, size would be fine. Um, and even if you were getting towards the end of your pregnancy and your jacket was getting a bit too tight, um, I don't see why there wouldn't be any reason why you couldn't use the kangaroo panel <laughs> to get a couple more weeks use out of it. Um, because then obviously once you have the baby, the smaller size would be fitting better anyway. Oops. Right. This is the jacket done up. It's quite crazy. It's very quite warm already even though I've only had it on for a minute or so um, toggles around the waist if you wanted to cinch it in if you like showing a bit more of your bum there's also toggles around the hem which I don't use because I don't like to feel restricted when I walk around my legs generally um, it does have lining on the pockets it's kind of more like a polar fleece but it is soft and it is quite warm when you've got your hands in there uh, they do zip up as well uh, there's nothing around the cuffs um, to sort of keep them closed not that I'm expecting to wear it in torrential rain uh, it does have a hood which is lined but the hood is absolutely massive ridiculously oversized there's no way I'm walking with that on it's an absolute hazard, um, but I think it is detachable as well. These studs. That's, that's better. Um, and that does button up there too for a bit of extra protection. I'll show you the kangaroo panel. Here's the kangaroo panel. As you can see, it's fully lined as well to keep bub warm. Um, it is shaped like this. So it does have a hood for you to cover the baby's head. I think in the web, on the website, it shows you with it open, which is probably what most people prefer anyway, so they can keep an eye on their baby. Probably a beanie might be better, but it does have that hood on there. Um, I guess if it is quite wet or windy for a bit of extra protection. Yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a, um, just a quick review because I know that in Australia, maternity clothes are quite hard, I find, quite hard to come by, uh, especially things like 
uh, jackets, parkas, coats, whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, I did have a bit of trouble deciding on which brand I was going to go with. Um, I was looking at the, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I was looking at their Sub-Zero uh, jacket, uh, which I think is meant to be a lot warmer. Um, but it was, I think, almost $150 more expensive uh, than what I paid. I think I paid, what did I pay? $319 for this. Um, and the Sub-Zero one, I think is, I don't know, 470 or something. Um, so given that I'm only going to wear it a couple of times, I think that this will suffice. Um, normally I would buy Seraphine stuff on sale. They seem to have sales regularly. Uh, so a lot of my stuff I've bought on sale, but I needed this quite quickly. We're meant to be going away in a couple of weeks. So um, I did pay 319 which I still think is a good price. It does seem like a good jacket, and hopefully I'll get a fair bit of wear of it out of it um, after the baby comes. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks.